Welcome to the Ultimate System Design course. My promise to you is that once you watch this 100% free YouTube course, you will never have to buy another system design course in your entire life. In today's video, we're talking about the skill sets you require to get better at system design. In the previous video, we talked about developing systems thinking. And that's a great skill to have, but that's too generic, right? So let's break it down. The first thing you need are your problem solving skills. And even though they get tested in a data structures and algorithms round, these skills can be tremendously helpful in system design as well, because you have to think about bottlenecks and remove them as and when they appear. Luckily, problem solving is a transferable skill and you just get better at problem solving with the more problems that you solve and the different type of problems that you're exposed to. The other thing that you need is a deep conceptual understanding of a wide variety of technologies such as caches, load balancers, proxy servers, and API gateways. You need to be able to break down various tech stacks, find similar technologies, compare them, or find the right ones for your use case. You need to be aware about the latest technologies that are hitting the market and what are the best options available for the kind of systems that you're designing. This generally comes after years of experience but you can accelerate this process with the right resources. And this course is one of them. Any complex system that you build faces a lot of challenges like failures, bottlenecks and outages. To be able to scale the system smoothly, the problems need to be pre-identified and solved way before they ever happen. And that's the sign of a good system design. A good system design needs to be simple yet comprehensive. And a good architect needs to think about problems before they've happened and needs to have a plan ready for when those issues happen. And this is why planning is one of the most important skills for system design. You need to be able to create detailed plans and documentation by preempting issues that may happen in the future. And this gives the team a great blueprint to execute the vision. In fact, planning and pre-planning are critical to be good at system design. You need to be able to see problems where they don't yet exist. The other important skill is the ability to work with systems that scale. Now you may have built websites or mobile apps that got used by a few users. But when you talk about thousands of concurrent users or millions of daily active users, those require seriously complex architecture and those softwares are completely different animals altogether. Now, if you have the experience of building complex softwares that have scaled, then that's a big plus because you've already been exposed to the concepts and you just have to learn system design formally. And that's going to be very easy for you. But even if you don't have this kind of experience and you're starting out as an engineer, you can still train yourself to think in terms of systems and scalability. And while that does take a while, practice can significantly accelerate this journey. All right, now that we're clear on the skill set required to be great at system design, we know what to focus on. In the next video, we'll draw some parallels between system design and the real world inspiration for system design. And that'll help us get a deeper understanding of what system design is. So see you in the next video.